Unit 4 review question 9. Plot 9 fourths on the number line, then rewrite it as a mixed number. Okay. So here we have the number line, and to plot 9 fourths, I notice the denominator is 4, so I want each unit broken into 4 pieces. So between 0 and 1, to cut this in a 4, I'm going to cut it in half, and then cut the halves in half, so 3 cuts. And I'm going to do this just for all the positive numbers. I don't need the negative ones since 9 fourths is positive. Okay. Now to plot 9 fourths, I'm going to start at 0 and count 9 fourths to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now to write 9 fourths, which is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator, as a mixed number, we can use the number line because we want to find the largest whole, num whole number uh, of times that 4 goes into 9, which is 2. And then we write a proper fraction that shows how much bigger 9 fourths is than 2 compared to 2, which is 1 fourth. So as a mixed number, this is 2 and 1 fourths. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Okay. Here we're asked to complete the table below, and we have improper fractions and mixed numbers, and we're given one or the other, and we need to rewrite it. So similar to what we did on the number line, but now we're going to do this uh, by hand using the calculator. The processes are written in words down here, but we're just going to do these by hand, and um, follow these processes as we go. So first we have 12 sevenths. We want to write this as a mixed number. So let's use division. We're going to divide 12 by 7. Okay, And we're going to use division with remainders like we did in a previous unit. So 7 goes into 12 one time. And then we subtract the 7. This difference is 5. So we have 1 with a remainder of 5. But now we know that we can write this as a mixed number, and instead of writing it as a whole remainder, we can write it as a fraction. And it is written as 1 and 5 sevenths. Okay? So you put the remainder over the divisor. So the idea is, let's look at 12 sevenths and just verify this. Okay? Um, if we had 12 copies of 1 7th, we could take 7 copies of 1 7th to have our 1, and then take 5 copies of 1 7th to have the proper fraction part of our mixed number. Okay, so that's the idea. So the process, divide the numerator by the denominator, this is a whole number part, remainder over the divisor. Now let's work in the other direction. Okay? We have a mixed number, we want to write it as an improper fraction. Okay? So first let's do the process and then we'll explain a little bit why it works. So we do 5 times 1 plus 3. So multiply the denominator times a whole number and add the numerator and keep the denominator. Well, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8 fifths. Okay, so let's see why this works. So 1 is 5 fifths, and 1 and 3 fifths means 1 plus 3 fifths. So notice this is the same as 5 fifths plus 3 fifths. So if we have 5 copies of a fifth, 3 copies of a fifth, it's a total of 8. When we did this multiplication, we basically changed the 1 into 5 over 5, and then we added on the 3 to combine that 5 over 5 with the 3 fifths part. Okay, let's do the next one. Here we have a negative number. That is not going to concern us at all, except that our answer is negative. We're just going to focus on the 9 eighths. So divide 9 by 8. 8 goes into 9 once with the remainder of 1. So that means negative 9 eighths is negative 1 and 1 eighth. So now the mixed number, negative 2 and 1 thirds. For the negative part, just going to keep the negative outside. Ignore it when you're multiplying. Okay. So we're going to have 3 times 2 plus 1. 
3 times 2 plus 1 over 3, which is 6 plus 1, which is 7 thirds, and in this case, negative 7 thirds. Let's look at the next one. Rewrite the given fractions as equivalent fractions given the indicated numerator denominator. Show your work. So we're asked to rewrite four sevenths with a denominator of 21. So I'm going to start by putting four sevenths here. I'm going to leave some space. Actually, I'm going to make this fraction a little bigger. And I'm going to put a 21 down here. Okay, so I want to write an equivalent fraction, so it will be equal to 4 sevenths, but instead of the denominator or the whole being unit being broken into 7 pieces, it's going to be broken into 21. Okay, so to find the number to change 7 to 21 multiplicatively, we think 21 divided by 7 is 3. Or you could think, what do I multiply 7 by to get 21? Okay. So to get 21, I multiply by 3. Okay. So regardless, you're going to multiply the 7 in the denominator by your result. And then if you're going to cut the unit into more pieces, you are also cutting those shaded parts into more pieces, if you can imagine this diagram. Okay. So that means we now have 12 pieces that are shaded, and we have 12 over 21. Okay. Let's look at the next one. So we have negative 8 over 5. We want to rewrite this with a numerator, which is the top number. I'm going to leave a little more space. Of negative 32. So now looking at the number we're given, the negative 32, you're going to think, what do I multiply negative 8 by to get negative 32? And the result is 4. Okay. You could also think of dividing 32 by 8. Since they're both negative, the answer is positive, and you multiply by 4. So whatever I do to the top, I'm going to do that to the bottom too. I'm cutting into more pieces, and we have 5 times 4 is 20. So our result is negative 32 over 20. Number 12, write two fractions that are equivalent to 2 fifths. Okay, so let's just draw a picture of this real quick. Okay, again, it's hard to do fifths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pretend they're all equal sizes, and we have 2 out of 5 equal pieces. Okay. Now, basically, what you want to do to find an equivalent fraction is cut it into more pieces, but they have to remain the same size. What if I cut all of them in half? Okay. Notice now there's 2 times as many pieces, there's 10, and now 4 of those pieces are shaded, which is 2 times 2. So, I am going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, and I get the fraction 4 tenths, which is equivalent to 2 fifths. Okay. And we can do this with any number. I'm going to pick, how about 7? Now, I'm not going to draw this because it would be not fun at all, but you can imagine I could have cut each of the five pieces into seven equal pieces. That would give us a total of 35 pieces, and the two would each be cut into seven pieces, so that would be 14 pieces. So an equivalent fraction, it has the same shaded amount relative to the unit, but it's cut into two different or different sized pieces.